come back again a few minutes later it's about three four minutes later and as you can see that three amps has now already heated up and now it's at five amps from a three amp cold charge because it's warming up and now here we go at five amps we can look at the outbound you can see it's much much faster than it was at three amps and that's a cold amp three amp charge and now we go on up and we take a look at the gauge and now we can see that the gauge is now running steadily at two liters a minute at five amps and the unit's been running about ten minutes now and then briefly we'll go over here and we'll take temperatures on the unit we'll go down here and we'll see if we can get a shot of this alright and let's see if we can get a picture of it and we'll hit it and the unit is now warmed up from 78 74 degrees before it's now at 82 on the canister. Now we're going to go up here and let it clear and we'll shoot the outbound gas. Alright, and the outbound gas now is at 97 degrees max. 95, 97, right in there. So in a matter of five minutes, we warmed up using only three amps. Now we're at five amps. We're still running at the same voltage okay before we were at the 13 volts we're still at 13 volts we started at 3 cold now we're just a hair over 5 the gas has increased in volume as you can see it's bubbling a lot faster than it was before because it's running a few minutes and it's starting to get going now and of course our gas is pulsating and it's staying right there pulsating and we can get this thing to focus there we are. We're at the two liter a minute, one and a half, two and a quarter liters a minute at only five amps, 13 volts, with an outbound gas temperature around 90 degrees, 90 some degrees, and the canister temperature in the upper 80s. And that's now at five amps because we cold started at three. Now when it's done warming up, it will warm up and it'll end up running somewhere around about eight amps. And at eight amps and 13 volts, that outbound gas will go from where it was at three down there down near the one now it's gone to five it's at the two and when it warms up to the eight amp level because making hydrogen is exothermic when it warms up at eight amps and gets going there it'll be up around two and a half three liters a minute from a little tiny unit like this which is not much taller than a soda can the whole actual unit itself the real working parts where the canister is and the cathode and the anode is only uh, six inches tall no bigger than a Pepsi can and that's about what it looks like and I'm running this not on potassium hydroxide this is being done with Arm & Hammer baking soda sodium bicarbonate which is half as efficient as potassium hydroxide just to show you that sodium bicarb will actually work Arm & Hammer and you can buy a pound of that Mix that with your water, a full teaspoon to a gallon of water, fill your unit, and a pound of Arm & Hammer baking soda would last you 100,000 miles. So that will give you some idea of how everything works. And that's it for the new Series 9B Minigen, the new configuration, which now runs at only 3 amps cold start and operates down the road when it heats up at 8 amps. And at 8 amps, it's doing 2.5 to 3 liters a minute, which is almost a gallon a minute, which is not too bad for a little unit like that. No taller inside in the guts and everything, in the cathode anode array, no taller than actually a Pepsi can. And if I had a Pepsi can around here that was available, I would put a Pepsi can up against it. But I don't see one, but to give you an idea, I'll see, we'll take a scan in the shop here and see if we can find one, and I don't see one anywhere around. Well, it was a good idea, but I guess for show and tell it's not going to work. Thank you much, have yourself a good day, and this is the end of the movie. Bye-bye.